loved killing. That's what they did. I mean, they loved it. Who was Giuseppe Greco? Hitman for the Colonnese, who killed three honest people. Giuseppe Greco was a hitman and a high-ranking member of the Sicilian Mafia. A number of sources refer him to him exclusively as Pino Greco. Although Giuseppe was his Christian name, Pino is a frequent constipation of the name Giuseppe. One of the most prolific killers in criminal history. He was affiliated to Shakuli Mafia family. Despite his surname, he was not related to the boss of Shakuli, Salvatore Greco, not to the boss of Croferde, Gianardi, Miguel Greco. His father was also a mafioso. Nicknamed Scarpa, Italian for shoe. Hence his nickname or Scarpuseda or Little Shoe. He was born in 1952 in Chacoli, as an outlying town in the province of Palermo. Administrative center of Sicily at school, he reportedly excelled in Latin and Greek. It's not known precisely when he joined the Mafia, but according to Pentito Casper Montolo, he started off as a driver for Calza boss Tommaso Spandaro, whose nephew was Giuseppe Lucchesi, who would go now to become Greco's best friend and accomplice in many murders. By 1979, Giuseppe Greco had increased his influence and power considerably and he sat on the Sicilian Mafia Commission alongside Michel Greco. The half of Rina, when it became clear, the Corleonese were winning the war. However, when they had outlived his usefulness, Rina decided to have them eliminated. The Corleonese invited Rico Bono, Scaglione and three other men to a meeting in a county villa between San Giuseppe, Yato and Monreal. And shortly after their arrival, they were separated and massacred by Pino Greco. Giovanni Brusca and their team of killers, following the massacre and many loyal to the boat bosses were murdered in Palermo. By then, Greco was believed to be the underboss of the Chacoli family. Rather than the Galate murders to his underlings, however, he continued to personally take part in them himself. On July 29, 1983, he and Nino Madonia parked the car bomb a Fiat 126 loaded with explosives that killed magistrate Rocco, Cincini and three other people. The true Carmanieri of the escort, Marshal Mario Trapassi and Corporal Salvatore Bartolotta and Stefano Licciacci, the porter of the building in Fiat Pipton where Cincini lived. The one survivor was Giovanni Marcuri, the driver of Cincini's car. By the end of the second Mafia war, he was one of the most prominent of the new generation of mafiosi, who had equivalent themselves in the second Mafia war and reportedly acted like he was the boss of Chacoli, which the actual boss was Michel Greco, was hiding. He was also built up following a younger mafiosi who looked up to him. Even more so than they did, the Corleonese bosses Rina apparently failed to need to reduce the strength of Chacoli family by eliminating his most permanent killers, starting with Scarpuseda. In order to weaken Greco's position, Rina ordered the massacre of Piazza Scaffa. When eight people were killed in the Chacoli Monumento, the victims were gunned down with shotguns in a barn. Greco was not informed as part of the deliberate strategy to show his lack of effective power of the territory under his jurisdiction. One of his last crimes was leading a large hit squad that abused and shot to death police investigator Antonio Casade on August 6, 1985. One of Casade's bodyguards, Roberto Antiante, also died and another one, Natal Mundo, was unarmed only to be killed on January 14, 1988. Three years earlier, Casaro had issued a report leading to arrest of 163 permanent mafioso, including Giuseppe Greco, the member of his death squad, and Michel Greco. Sometime in December 1985, a month after Casaro's assassination, Greco was murdered in his home. He was shot to death by his two fellow mafios and supposed friends, Vincenzo Puccio and Giuseppe Lucchesi. 
Also, the orders came from Rina, who had felt Brecker was getting too ambitious and too independent-minded for his liking. 